Hey, uh, I was interested in taking one of your improv classes, um, but I was hoping maybe I could like get bumped up to like an intermediate or advanced without taking the beginner, just because I have like a decent amount of prior experience. I've made like a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, also, uh, do you offer like merit or need-based scholarships because the classes are pretty expensive? Um, yeah, well, okay, I thought I'd ask. All right, bye. Daniel, hey. Whoa. George, where'd you come from? Yeah, uh, just in the neighborhood. I was lurking in that alley. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it's been forever since like freshman year of college. I That's think. right, freshman year of college. Because I, uh, I dropped out after. Oh, yeah? To develop my app. Oh, what? I didn't know that. What, what, what's your app? It's called Tango. It's, oh. uh, it's like Tinder, except the bio and the photo are separate. Huh? In order to get a match, you have to like both the person's visual appearance and what they say about themselves. Oh, so I feel like I would get like no matches. Honestly, there are very, very few matches. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, you know what? I had an idea for an app just the other day. It would be like you take a picture of yourself and it would show you what kind of dog you look like. I mean, you can have that if you want. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I actually have another app. It's called, uh, it's called Grass. Grass, uh -huh. uh, and it's for married couples, and allows married people to go on dates with other married people uh -huh. to sort of reinforce the notion of uh, the grass is always greener on the other side, kind of thing. Like the idiom. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I know most idioms. Do you exclusively make dating apps? Uh, not necessarily. I'm just uh, you know still looking for that special person, so uh -huh. I'm uh, kind of drawn to the dating app game. Oh, I see. But, you know, still just as terrible at first dates as I ever was, so. Really? See, I feel like I'm much better at first dates than second dates just because I've had so much more practice. Did you tweet that? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's tough. I'm just kind of discouraged at this point. My app's helping literally dozens of people find their special someones, yeah. but I can't find anyone for myself. Are you on, like, more apps than just yours? Oh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on all of them. Really? All of them? Yeah, all Bumble? of them. Bumble? Yeah. Stumble? Yeah. Farmers Only? Yeah. Shapoopy? Of course. Occam's Dater? Deleted that one. Flat Butts? Mm -hmm. Lactose Intolerance Mingle? Uh, yeah. Ass Cheese? Of course. Brick Wall? Yeah. Okay. You know, at least I was able to sell uh, Tango for a pretty penny. Mind telling me how much? Just, just two million dollars. But it's like Sam Cooke always said, I got some money because I just got paid. How I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm in an awful way. I really have too much for one person, honestly. Well, if I, you know, if you want to get some off your plate, so to speak, I, I can help you out. It's awfully generous of you. Oh yeah, no problem. I mean, even if you just wanted to like give me like a measly hundred dollars, that'd be fine with me. I don't have any money on me. I mean, you could always Venmo me. I'm not going to give you a hundred dollars, Daniel. I, like, I was just joking. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would affect your life if you gave me a hundred dollars, but I was just joking. You weren't kidding, and you understand the sort of precedent it would set if I gave everyone who asked me for it $100. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone if that's what you're afraid of. I'm sure a lot of people have been bothering you for money after you sold the Samba. Tango. As in, it takes two. Oh, like the idiot. And yeah, I do get pestered a lot. Some people are just way pushier than others. You don't mean me right. Because like I said, I was just joking. No, you weren't just kidding. You want me to give you $100. Well, I don't not want you to give me $100. Look, if you keep being this kind of pushy kind of guy, this pushy guy here, I'm just gonna walk away. It's really just not cool. Okay, look, don't give me $100, but don't be a jerk about it, okay? You forced me to be a jerk about it. And I lied earlier. I do have money on me. I have over $400 on me right now. $400? And here's what I think about you asking me for 100 bucks. What? No. Give that back. I will when you won't burn it. I'm calm. I'm not gonna burn anything. I am a cool customer. No, you're not. You're not a cool customer at all. Your face is bright red. My face may be red, but my bank account isn't in the red, like yours. Okay, 
you're doing wordplay, so I guess that does imply that you've calmed down. Look, I am calm, like I said. Putting the matches away. Let me just get my money back here. Okay, okay. Just All right, I'm giving it back. Okay, give it back to me. All right, I'm gonna help myself, okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, okay. here you go. <laughs> sorry, Come. just kidding. Okay, look, sorry, okay. Okay, I, 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 I will put the money right here. And I'm gonna turn around. And when I turn back, maybe it'll be good. We'll see. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, but hey, at least you're a millionaire. Multi-millionaire, but that doesn't change the fact that you still owe me $100. Look, I mean, I'll see what I have. I mean, I, I have... I have three dollars. You know, I don't carry around hundred dollar bills. What, what about Venmo? Okay, look. I... That was an accident. Okay? That was an accident. I don't feel responsible. Of course you don't feel responsible. I mean, you antagonized me. It was just... We're both... We're both... It, it's just something that happened. Okay? It's just an accident. And we're old college friends. We lived on the same floor for six months. Hey, what time is it? 2.15? Well, I gotta go! It was a brutal moment of my life. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not good at acting. <laughs> That's wow. my big, my big. You're doing uh, good. 